Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a huge Halloween haul. And like I said in my fall haul, I was gonna do this separate video because I bought way too much Ray Dunn Halloween things. So I thought I would do like a dedicated video just on that. So you will have seen like a few Halloween things in my fall haul, but this is like very much just Halloween. So I'm just gonna get started because it's probably gonna be a long video. So let's start with things that I bought in July because I went to the States and they had already put out the Halloween stuff when I was there in July. So that's when I bought this. So you will see like this is a very like collective haul also. I didn't like just buy all this in one weekend. You know what I mean? So this first thing here I still have in the packaging. <laughs> it's a Ray Dunn, of course, like, uh, I don't know, jar set. And one says Hocus Pocus and one says Boo. But I had to get this because the little witch hat and the ghost and it comes on its own like wood tray. And I just loved how this looked. And this is gonna go in my bathroom. You'll see why in a second. So that was from, this is where I get confused between US and Canada store names. Um, in, in the States, the store is called Home Goods. Home Goods, yes. That's from Home Goods. So is this. I actually bought these on the same day. They were right next to each other. But I didn't realize, because I was kind of like frantic, um, <laughs> that they say the same thing. So this Hocus Pocus and Boo again. But these ones have gnome heads. And this one has like a ceramic, whatever this material is, tray. So this one is for the kitchen, because I'm doing this kind of like green and orange and black theme this year. So that's gonna go on my coffee station. <laughs> I feel like I sound like a crazy person, but if you're into Ray Dunn or like home decor in any way, I feel like you probably understand the words that I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm very excited about those two things. I'm gonna probably put them out very soon because it's already October 8th today. Yeah. So I don't wanna miss the Halloween you know, season for de for decor. I guess we'll just continue with the stuff on the table because <laughs> there's more on the floor. Um, this little candle, I just picked this up yesterday. We had to go to the mall for other things. And of course I had to stop by home since. And I saw this scarlet pumpkin candle and I could not leave it there because look at this beautiful label. And there's a cat on the lid. This was only $5.99, so it wasn't that bad, right? And it smells amazing. So I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I'm already burning right now this, how do I, how do I show you that? This <laughs> uh, Bath and Body Works candle, pumpkin bonfire. I love that one too, but yeah. So this one will have to find a place somewhere. Oh, then for my tear tray, this is all gonna be mixed up, but I went to Michael's um, for something else, for crafts probably, and the Halloween stuff was buy one, get one free. So I got for my tear tray these little guys. I love them so much. So a little cat and a pumpkin head, and he's even holding like a little, um, pumpkin guy and their legs are like this so you can place them on like the edge of something so I thought that'd be super cute on my tear tray and these remind me of that vintage style decor I know there's a name for it but I can't remember it right now and I really like that especially with the Ray Dunn look I feel like it's very like cottagey farmhouse kind of style 
which I like. If you guys didn't know, we moved into my boyfriend Josh, his father's house. So this is the house Josh grew up in and we moved from the city to here and to this big house and it's from like 1896 or something crazy. So we obviously can't, we're not gonna start decorating it in like a modern way because it just does not go with the house. We have like radiators and like the the kind of door that you put a key in, like it's very much, it hasn't been renovated. So we're trying to keep that like old farmhouse kind of style. And I really love that style anyway, so it's perfect. But anyway, just a side note, if you're wondering like how this decor fits in to my house, um, yeah. Then I got a soap for the bathroom, another Ray Dunn, and it says Hocus Pocus. I kind of was just trying to get all the Hocus Pocus things, but now I realize I'm just going to have a bunch of things in my house that say Hocus Pocus on them. So I didn't think that through very well. But yeah, I got this soap for that reason. The thing I hate about these stores is they put stickers like on everything and they don't come off and then they ruin everything. So I'll have to like take some lemon oil to that or something. But yeah, this soap called Pumpkin Season. Did I even ever smell this? I don't know. Oh yeah, it smells nice. So that's gonna be my Halloween soap. Then I have more jars, which I guess are for the kitchen, probably. So I had to get this one because it has a ghost lid. So what does this say to you? Because I told Josh, look, it says boogie, like, like boogie, like dance. And he was like, no, it says bougie. And I was like, oh. So now, I don't know. What does it say? What do you guys think? Let me know below. <laughs> Either way, it's cute. I love the little ghost lid. And usually with these jars, I, with these jars, I put them next to my coffee machine and I put my coffee pods in them. So maybe I'll do that with these, but look at this one. It has witch legs on it and it says, Witch and famous. I had to get it because of the orange legs. So yeah, I have those also. Oh, and this little sign I got the same day as the first two things I showed you. Just a cute little sign for the kitchen. It says, hey boo. I love it. What can I say? That's not all. I also have, again, for the coffee station, I like to put out these cups, but we don't use them. We, we just use them for decoration. But if anyone came over and wanted, you know, a coffee to go, I would definitely give them one of these. But these, if you can see, they say witch's brew, and they come with like their own little those things for your hands and I just love the look of these and having them around. I have them for every season so when I saw the witches brew ones and the green color that goes with my other things I had to get these also. Okay this I'm very excited about. This will go on the couch of course. It's a Ray Dunn soft plush throw. Look how cute this is. So there's ghosts on it, pumpkins, and then the words say boo. So just very fitting and goes with everything else. And I had to get it because it's so nice and soft. So I got this for the living room. Okay, then I got this. <laughs> this big thing. I put a spell on you. How can I leave this at the store? I don't know where this is going to go, though. Maybe on my bookshelf. That would be, I mean, an obvious place to put it because it is a stack of books. So yeah, I think that's going to be where I'm putting this one. I love it so much. So, also got this one. <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm nuts. Okay. 
This is one of my favorite things. Look at this. A stack of mugs and all the colors for my, that are like my theme this year. So this one says spooky, treats, boo, and wicked. And on the back, they have faces. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole life? <laughs> So I love this. So obviously that's for the coffee station as well. I hope I have room for all of this. That is actually very heavy. Like these mugs are huge. But I had to get that. And I have not seen this in Quebec. I actually got this in Ontario. You guys in Ontario, if you're watching, have amazing Ray Dunn finds. So yeah, I could not leave this there. And some more things for my tear tray. These little um, like potion things. So I got this magic potion. Cute. And this poison one. Love it. Okay, my table's getting full of things already. Okay, this one, I'm not even sure what it is. Oh, yes. Witch, please. Or which please? I don't know. <laughs> so cute, right? And it's green. So it goes with my decor. Oh, this I actually bought um, in the States also, the same day as the first stuff. This is just a little candle, but it says me and my booze, and there's little ghosts on it. And it actually smells really good. It's um, called Sublime Lime, the scent. So, I have to get this, of course. Okay, this might be my favorite thing, too. <laughs> I'm not even sure. But this, I died when I saw this. Hocus Pocus with a cat's head on a mug. I mean, who would not want this? <laughs> I just went crazy this year because last year there was nothing good for Halloween. I found like one Ray Dunn mug last year, but this year it was just amazing. Plus I went to the States, I went to Ontario, and that's where I found a lot of this really good stuff because where I live we don't have the best things, but yeah. I'm just very excited to decorate this year. Okay, I think we're almost done. Oh. This is not, this doesn't fit in this video at all, but I bought this on the same, like at the same mall as the other, as like the mug stack and stuff. But I went to Sephora, of course, and this was, I believe, on sale. The Forever Mood candle, the Matcha Business. I've been wanting this forever, but I could never, like, I could never go through with it, I guess, because these candles are so expensive, especially in Canada, but I had to get it when it was on sale because the scent is hazelnut coffee, almond milk, honey, that's the top notes, then the heart is coffee and lavender, and the base is vanilla. Like, how, how could I not get this? So yeah, this should be in like a Sephora haul, but it was in this bag, so I'm just going to show it to you now. But it looks like this, and this smells amazing. Like I haven't even taken, I haven't even taken the lid off, and I can smell it, and it smells amazing. So this is Jackie Ina's candle brand, if you didn't know. But yeah, finally picked up a Forever Mood candle which I need to burn somewhere someday. Okay, I had to change my battery, so things might look different. You know you've been either talking too much or buying too many things <laughs> when your battery dies while you're filming a haul video. But, okay, I'm almost done. So, okay, this thing, I got this set of mugs also. So, um, last year I got a mug that says Jeepers Creepers, um, but like I said, it was the only like redone thing I could find and it was like alone on a shelf somewhere, so yeah. But I saw these and I had to get them because it goes together, so it says Lazy Bones 
and Bone to be Wild. And it's an orange mug with the black inside and the black mug has an orange inside. And I love these so much. <laughs> Cause my idea is one day when we redo our kitchen, I wanna have like a place with all my Ray Dunn things and then for every season I will change them out. So I need things like this to fill the space, right? Please tell me you understand <laughs> what I'm talking about. But I also had to get these. Um, I found these like right next to this other mug stack and I was like, should I get more mugs? And the answer was yes. Oh, then I had to get these coasters, obviously, because they go with my theme. And also I have the Ray Dunn coasters for Christmas, for summer, and obviously you needed Halloween ones. So I got these ones. I did like the white and black more, but the white and black set only said two phrases, like hocus pocus and witch please, I think, but twice. And I was like, I don't like duplicates. So I got the orange and black because they all are different. So this one says cheers, witches, hocus pocus, witches brew, and drink up witches. So I love this. These go on the side table in our living room. So I definitely have a purpose for these anyway. And I love the Ray Dunn coasters because they're like this ceramic whatever and they have a cork bottom so they don't like scratch your surfaces. Love those. And of course I needed more <laughs> dish towels um, because I found them in the same colors like the green and the, well I don't really have purple anywhere so maybe that one will go in the bathroom. But um, I think, yeah, so just the purple one says feeling wicked and then on the back there's a white one that says a dash of magic. So I thought those are really cute. And then the two in the middle are just nice like fluffy towels, but they don't say anything. So yeah, just a cute set that goes together. Oh, this is one of my favorite things also. <laughs> this witch's brew pitcher. I need to have like a Halloween party or something because people need to see this stuff. And I thought this was so cute because on the back there's actually a recipe for witch's brew, I guess. And it says two cups putrid pumpkin, one cup mystery slime, one tablespoon of cobwebs, two drops of bat squeaks, one rat tail, one eye of newt, and one dried spider. I love it. So much. Uh, I hope this fits somewhere in my kitchen because that's where I want to put it. But you could use these as like vases too. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I had one for Christmas that was like a milk jug kind of style and that went on my coffee station. So we'll see if this fits. I don't know. Okay, this is the last thing. And I know I said I was going to use those other, like the witch legs jar and the ghost jar for coffee pods, but I think I'll use those for tea and this will be for my coffee pods because I got one of these giant cookie jars. It says fangs for the memories. Okay. <laughs> so cute. And it's in orange and black. So definitely fits with everything else and I just love it. So yeah, I think this is meant to be a cookie jar. It doesn't say anywhere, but yeah, I had to pick this one up too because it's the cutest thing. So that's it for my Halloween haul. I mean, well, my Ray Dunn Halloween haul. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just looking around and it looks like I have a Ray Dunn, like, resell store. <laughs> Which I don't, and I don't recommend you do that either. Have you guys seen on Instagram these people that go to, like, HomeSense and everything and they stuff their carts, like, with, like, 50 mugs and 25 jars and then they resell them for a higher price. That's very rude. <laughs> don't do it. But anyway. 
yeah that's my video i hope you liked it i hope you are a crazy halloween decor person like me and that you understand where i'm coming from but yeah let me know below what was your favorite item i think mine okay i'm i'm very torn between the hocus pocus cat mug and the mug stack but i think it would be the mug stack just because there's more <laughs> like there's more mugs to it and they have like a face side and a writing side and they're all different colors and they come with their own stackable thing so i think it's that let me know what yours is i hope you like this video like i said already if you did like it well give it a like <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye